Good morning. This is the 15th of September, and this is Adele's kids. Uh, we put them down here on the floor because there's just no easy way to do this with this many puppies. Um, and especially this many dark colored puppies. Several of these puppies are starting to change colors, which we thought they would. And um, they're doing really good. They will be three weeks old on Sunday. So uh, they're starting to climb out of their welt box already. So we're gonna go ahead and today we're gonna dump them on the floor, which is either a good thing or a bad thing. We'll see what happens. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from one end to the other. I'm gonna make my life easier and I'm gonna stick a sticker on them. I know, you've lost your way, get up here. And uh, that way I can tell who I've done and who I haven't done. So let's start with the guys that are the rowdy right now. This one is the male with the fancy white feet and big white chest. 65, 69. Okay, come over here. Oh my goodness sake. Okay. He's got four white feet. He's got a great big white chest. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. And they just ate a little bit ago and they just had a bath. So I'm hoping that we get through this. I know it's cold. This one is one pound, 11.2 ounces as of today. Oh my goodness sake. And he also has this little teeny tiny white spot of hair, white hair on the back of his chest. Back of his chest, yeah. That is the back side of his chest. All right, I'm gonna stick a sticker on you because I'm done with you. I figure this is the only way I can tell who I've done easily. All right, so this is another male. And this guy, as of right now, is not turning colors. Microchip number is 6557. I laugh. These stickers will probably all come off at some point and I won't it won't be able to be an asset to me. Uh, let's see. He has big white tuxedo chest, four white feet, has the tips on the front and a little bit more on the back. Very few tiny white hairs on his goatee. And let's see what he weighs today. 11 pound, uh, 1 pound 11.2 ounces as of today. And please don't look at the pink stickers as it's a girl. It's just to show me where I've been. All right, so the next one looks black. This one is not going to stay black. It's already changing. 65, 67. I know what the problem is now. The door's open and I'm listening to the, the dryer, sorry. Um, this puppy, if Vanessa can zoom in close, is absolutely turning buff. Probably maybe a, a ruddy, ruddy colored brown, maybe a light buff with a little bit of dark hairs mixed in it. But this pup will absolutely change all over. So it will never, 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 never stay this color. Everybody has lots of waves in their coat, which means they're gonna get curly. And let's see what they weigh today. So we are, one pound, 9.2 ounces today. All right, let's stick a sticker on you. All right, there's your sticker. Okay, let's do this guy. They'll probably crawl a little bit and knock each other's stickers off. 6565 65 is microchip number. This is a big puppy. Again, it's a male. He has white chest, white on his neck, if I can get him to look up. There we go. Big white spot on chest, white goatee, white on both back feet. Really, really nice coats on these babies. They have such nice coats. And again, 65, 65, and he weighs one pound, 12 ounces on the button. All right, let's stick one of my little handy dandy stickers on you. Okay, next up. Who's buried? You're buried. This one is finally a female. This one is a black, and right now she's holding her black. They change from their belly up. So right now I do not see any brown hairs in there. 6552 is her microchip. Beautiful silky coat, nice and shiny. Really pretty baby. And she's got white on her chest all the way. Can I have your legs? all the way to the chin. She's got a white goatee. Let's see what she weighs today. 
one pound, 14.6 ounces as of today. She's a big puppy. You lost your sticker already. I knew it wasn't going to work. Someone is wearing your sticker on their belly. I guess it works if they all just lay separately. <laughs> I bet it's you. Got his sticker? No. Just lay down there and don't screw my sticker method up here. You should have a sticker on. Okay. So, I'm going to do the other black one. This way, if I lose stickers, I know where I'm at now. Uh, this is a female. She is the little, littlest in the litter. She's got a white spot on the back of her neck. And she's got beautiful, beautiful, thick, thick coat. 6556 is her microchip number. Turn over, little pumpkin. Big white chest, white on her neck, and a big white goatee, and four white tips on her feet. Let's see what she weighs today. One pound, four ounces today. I really don't need a sticker at this point because I know where I'm at. The others are brown, so I'm good. All right, this one is the one that's completely turning brown all over, big time. This one's, oh, I should say, salt and pepper or a maybe a buff and brown. It's hard to tell, but absolutely changing colors. Uh, the back will be the last color that changes. Uh, already changing up on the head, you can see the brown. And this is a female, I thought it was, I wasn't sure. Are you messing with my scale? 65, 62, all right, come on, I'll put you back in the group. There you go. Really pretty face. She says, what are you doing? All right, let's see what you weigh today. One pound, 9.2 ounces. I don't need to mark you because I know where I'm at. All right, then the other one in here is absolutely, this is the brindle. And I, I guess I would tell you that the colors underneath of these guys, the ones that are changing, are actually this color. I don't know if you can see it or not. I don't know if they're going to be a brindle, but they're the same color as this brindle. So they may end up being brindle. I won't know till later. And neither will you till later. All right. We think a fly got on the lens of the camera. That was so funny. We couldn't see anything in that one frame. So anyway, um, this puppy's definitely changing. And I think the other puppies are going, to, are going to lead to the same colors pretty much. He's got super nice coat. Again, he's got this really cute little white spot on the back of his neck. He's got big white tuxedo chest, huge white chin, and his feet are all white on all four. All right, so let's see what you weigh. So my thing turned off. Everybody is zonked. One pound, 11.2. All right, so down you go. And the last one in here is the black and white female. And she is... 6554, really nice coat. Already got lots of waves in there coming with curls. She's got really pretty face. Big white belly. See, I'm just full. My belly's full. And doing really, really good. I'll hold you up there and see it. I don't know if we're going to get you in front of that light enough to get a face shot. Black faces are tough to get a face shot on. They really are. Let's see what you weigh. Oh. One pound, 11.2. Boy, everybody is just right in the same patch. So, I'm going to pull off my uh, sticker idea. They're doing great. Adele's doing really good. In fact, Adele's in the dryer right now. We gave Adele a, dry, a bath since we gave the babies a bath. And uh, they're doing super good. They should be um, in about another week. You'll see them up and moving around, and it's going to get to where it's really impossible to do videos because they're going to go everywhere. And, uh, but right now all they do is eat, sleep, and go to the bathroom. So they're growing good. The more they sleep, the more they grow. They I'm sleepy. But everybody's doing fine. Uh, if you have any questions, give me a call. And, uh, I'll keep you informed on color changes and how they're going. And again, the one that is changing colors that you can't tell from the internet is 6567. And this is a female. So she is definitely, definitely changing colors underneath there, all over. I would not be surprised if she doesn't end up a brindle like her father uh, from the looks of her coat. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. And uh, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text. And, you know, honestly, texting has become the best way to reach me. So um, 
Just let me know if I can help with anything. If you have not booked in for pickup for your puppy and you have some idea, um, I do ship on Fridays, so I'll ship that you probably that Friday after their spay and neuter is done. Um, if we have anybody in here that's shipping, there's that pink one that disappeared. So have a good one, and we'll have some new pictures and videos for you next week.